nice little update on the pickup truck i've got the engine fixed and don't mind that it's cleaning up a little bit show you guys what we got going on in here i ended up doing the calvan repair i was going to record it and then my daily driver my lincoln was involved in an accident with an 18 wheeler and uh it was the other driver's fault thank god and uh, it was all on video everything worked out pretty well other than uh having some a little bit of injuries but um this went from a quick you know little just full around project to turn it into a i gotta get this done because i'm having a nightmare getting a rental car from this other company so i got this done in two days did not record it and uh got everything fixed down in here clean this i didn't oil it um i'm gonna get me a new filter maybe a k and n but i did not oil this one because this this filter is pretty shot so i just did a nice clean on it with some dawn soap threw it some hot water and then threw it on a boot dryer and it's a hundred times better but there's no oil on it and that's okay because that oil i believe can mess with your mass airflow a little bit but uh back to this I ended up taking all the injectors out, coil packs, spark plugs, and changed the oil. Also did a new cable connector up here. I did my upper and lower, which was a pain. That bad boy right there was a complete pain. Uh, did a coolant flush. I've put about 20 gallons through this system. And then this is uh, the, the first official like cycling of a heat cycle with coolant and i did a full coolant so i can run it and if it didn't need to be flush again i wouldn't have to but i think i'm gonna have to because it's darkening up and i'm gonna show you what i mean it's not dark as in like a, a color but as dark as in transparency so that makes sense that's actually lime green the lighting is terrible there's some staining that was left over and uh, this is an original cap and it has a date code on it so i know it's the original but this cap to 16 psi i'm gonna get me a new one it's not leaking yet but these things only last about four to five years if you properly maintain your vehicle so i'm gonna get that changed out and then back to the coolant i'm gonna i'm gonna do one more flush because these hoses were hoses were deteriorating on the inside really bad truck's almost 25 years old Technically, by numbers, it's oh, it's almost 24, but I found date codes on this truck that are in 98. And um, some of the date codes are showing 97 on some of the parts. So I view it, it's, a 20, it's almost a 25-year-old truck. It's a 99. But um, that's what we've got going on there. So those hoses, they're just on the inside. Some of the rubber is starting to deteriorate. And I think that's why my coolant originally was black. So, and I know I, I've heard this a lot, especially with lightnings and stuff. These Triton motors, uh, your, your cooling system on this, for some reason, a lot of people have them turning black. And I honestly think, and I could be wrong, I've been wrong before, I think it's the hoses. So, I know the heater hoses I didn't change, and I didn't do the heater core. And I've done a heater core on one of these trucks before. It's an absolute nightmare. I wait until the last minute to do it because it is a freaking nightmare. And I think if the heater core ever does go, I'll, I'll go ahead and pull the carpet out. The carpet's nice in here, but I'll pull the carpet and put some uh, some new new fabric in there while I do the heater core. And then uh, pull the dash and just change some things out, you know, clean it up. But this thing is doing 100 times better. I'm going to get me a video here in a couple hours. It should be the same video for y'all. If my iPhone likes to work with me on storage, that's why the videos are so short. Uh, I don't have a computer or nothing. This is all off iPhone, 100%. But I'll, I'll get a nice video going down the road just myself. We'll give it some gas, open it up. Oh, and I did do headlights and uh, factory markers. These have been, I put like a little wax on them, try to give it some UV protection. Everybody buys these lights on Amazon, eBay, whatever jungle site it is. And they complain that they sit there and, oh, they're they're losing their the plastic on it it's already fading out and it is frustrating it is but uh coat them it's like sunscreen throw a little bit on there it's not a big deal so i got that going and then 
The tires are doing great. I had to have them balanced. They're date coded about two years ago. I went to discount tire, just stopped by. I was going to the doctor, you know, knock out some stuff for this car wreck stuff. And uh, I decided, hey, I'm gonna stop by discount, drop it off. And I went in there. I, I did not buy these tires there. I've never been there. New customer. Guy asked me, I said, hey, I'm a new customer. And uh, he said, what you need? I said, I need to have all four tires rebalanced because it, it had a little vibration. And this thing didn't drive a lot in two years. So that, you know, that's just a reality. But uh, he sat there and didn't even charge me. Couldn't believe it. Discount tire in Cartersville, Georgia. It was really nice. Told me to bring back some business. So I hope that helps too. But these are fantastic. I can do zero to about 85, 90. No vibration except for at 74 to 76 mile an hour. I have no idea why. And then I got me a toolbox up in here. I'm gonna get me some new caps. These are about 118 each. So that's gonna wait, but I will get me some new caps. And I'm gonna get me a nice roll out leather bed cover. And let me tell you about these toolboxes. These are kind of getting pricey. And I, this is exactly why. Cause when you walk up to this truck, you keep that nice look and your common crackhead doesn't realize that there's a box full of goodies right here. So even with a lock or not, but, um, I really like this toolbox. They strap in, they have provisions on them where the straps can hide and, uh, kind of stay out of, you know, UV, but I really like that. It's a good thing. You get me a leather bed cover and we'll be rocking out. Got me a custom tag ordered. Uh, I'm going to polish these tips soon. See how that turns out. The more I look at this truck, the bed has definitely been repainted. Got a little bit of, I wouldn't say orange peel, but it's, it's almost orange peel. And then on the inside, there's one other major thing I got to do, and that's my brake fluid on the inside on the mechanics. But that's an update on the truck. It's doing really good. I cannot recommend that Calvan kit enough. That was an absolute lifesaver. I've got, with everything I did, I did a tune up when I did it. So technically I could have done it cheaper. I took a big gamble on this, this truck. I've only seen it run once and that was months and months and months ago. Um, I had no clue realistically. So this thing was on its last leg and uh, I really came in and looked up on it. But I'll say this. When you look at the numbers, like, oh, I got the truck pretty cheap. I got parts for less than $1,000, and that was including all plugs and coils and oil change and everything. That's really good. But we're talking about my labor in the shop. Uh, two, three days knocking this thing out in a quick, fast hurry. So that's a lot of time and money, and I've got tools and everything. So, like, for the common person that could sit here and look at these trucks and say, oh, these Triton motors are crap because they cost an arm or leg to keep them running. It's not exactly true, it's the labor. There's there's not much in that. That Calvin kit on Summit was $400 and they price matched Amazon, that Summit in Georgia that I called them and uh, told them what I had going on. And I got that Calvin kit for the same price as Amazon with a $25 overnight shipping. And um, that's, that's the difference of using your local guys. I don't care if it's a big box company, use your local guys. And, you know, Amazon's great, and there are local companies on Amazon, so I'm not knocking that. But in this situation, I waited four days for a Calvin kit on Amazon that never even shipped. So I canceled that and went with Summit. And uh, I didn't go with Summit originally because I didn't think they would price match 200 something dollars different. But that's what we've got going on. So that Calvin kit was a blessing. But um, technically, if you did, like, one coil, one spark plug in the Calvin kit, you could be, like under $600 maybe on a high end, or if you did the price matching or Amazon, whatever. And I use name brand plugs and name brand coils. You could have used that cheap crap. It's like $40 for eight coils. I'm not trusting that because one coil should, should be, you know, 20, $25 minimum. So these Petronics, 40 to 45,000 volt. I can't remember which one I got. I'm pretty impressed with them. They're the flamethrowers. And that part number might be, might be right there. I can't read it. I don't feel like zooming in. It's going to mess my video up. But, um, yeah, this was a huge, huge gamble, and it paid off. My shoulder's killing me holding this phone. <clears throat> so, 5-4 for the win right here. And uh, this thing is rowdy. When I mean rowdy, 
the 355 gear in this and the posi is just fantastic it looks like grandpa's pickup truck and those are just a hair over on the height and width but uh and by the way the truck has been lowered two inches in the back so that explains why it has such a handsome look on it i'll show you what we got going on in here somebody's already done a what appears to be a Beltec shackle. So I'm pretty pleased with that. It saves me a little hassle doing it. But um, man, this truck is just awesome. You can gas down on it. I'll show you in a little while. I gotta recycle some cardboard today. And this thing snatches second, chirps third. I mean, it's fantastic. It's almost comical. But I was checking out some reviews of the, the 99 Lightnings. You know, these are 97 to 04 or 04 heritage so 97 to 03 the lightnings are 99 to 03 and there is a 04 heritage lightning and uh the numbers and everything you know there's more power in one yeah that's true uh the 99s only had a 355 gear that's what this has same transmission as well and it's just it's very impressive how quick this truck is compared to the lightning so I would love to run it with a lightning. If anybody has one, let's let's go. Uh, I'm gonna try to take it to the drag strip in Calhoun before I do like a lightning wheel and tire on it and uh, get rid of some of the grandpa features. I'm also gonna do lightning bumper and I really wanna change out this entire grill and do the honeycomb in here, which was a 99, I believe 99 only for the lightnings. So that'll be nice instead of the this crap or the horizontal on the later lightnings but i'll say this one thing that's fantastic about this is the gas mileage i drove it to work i drive about 100 120 miles a day and this thing averaged out and this was the first tank after all this cleaning and everything of the injectors and all the plugs and crap and uh i ran anywhere from 70 to you know hearsay on 80 mile an hour and that was cruising and i didn't drive it lightly i was you know giving it some gas enjoying it really enjoying the exhaust the exhaust is fantastic and this thing averaged out like 16 16 and a half miles per gallon and that's pretty good i'm very pleased with that especially on a 355 gear and 25 gallon fuel tank there's a little bit of weight there so i was very impressed so and these tires are two 65 70 16s yeah factory is two 55 70 16 i believe so the speedometer is only like at 70 it's only like 1.2 mile an hour off if i'm doing the math in my head correctly so i'm pretty pleased with this thing it's awesome and update on the galaxy let me get you zoomed in there i've just went and got headlights and i'm about to throw them on i took it to town and uh i'm kind of kind of impressed with it for a minute and then i had some issues i went to like four stores in 40 minutes if you know anything about classic cars they don't like that cranking them turning them off cranking them you know your fuel gets hot it sits there and boils on top of your intake if your fuel lines right there it's just it's not good and uh that thing loves long drives the the, the more driving you do the better it runs so in fact that I, I went through town and i did a on off on off on off i mean that was crazy really showed me my, my battery is doing good my alternator is doing good and uh you know the car's doing good and it, when it's cold it fires right up you hit the key boom choke for not even a second throw it off and she's cranking just fine and then after it's hot like today i had to sit there and literally wide open throttle turn the key and it took about five seconds and then wow fires right up so i've got to figure that out i know these cams require a a hot cylinder so i think that might be half my problem um or i've got some timing issues i don't know but it runs so good i just i don't want to mess with it too much and uh, go from there but we're going to get some headlights in here i've got some in the trunk i bought factory replacement on the high beam and low beams and uh that from O'Reilly's was $75 for two low beam, two high beam. And I did get a flasher relay for the blinker. Um, I went to O'Reilly's, they cannot get a blinker 
assembly. And because I want to change it, as I, I hear that your tail lights can get power through that assembly. And uh, I, I'm still having issues. I can't get lights out the rear. So I've already done a bunch of stuff. I've changed every component within the lighting system except for the blinker assembly and that clock ring in there. So that's what I got going on with it. But um, I know this sounds stupid. I want to get the headlights done first just because the front of the car is wide open. And uh, I really want to get the trim back on. So we'll check that out and then be rocking and rolling. And if anybody's curious, these 65 Galaxies run a two-prong low and a three-prong high. And O'Reilly's offered a 50 watt high beam versus a 60 watt, which is what I had. I'm gonna try it just because you know it, the bulb's 40 years different and we'll see how it goes. And if you look closely, we're gonna look at the next problem. Boom. I'm trying to zoom in. There's a little, she's just you know, marking her territory, I guess. She's temperamental. I still haven't named the Galaxy. I've named all my cars, and I think, you know, guys in the car scene, you know, people are either with it or not, but I like to name a car. My daughter, you know, she called my last truck Goldilocks. I like stuff like that. So uh, I got to get a name for this car. I don't know what to call it yet. I'm going to get that going. I'm not going to record the lights. You know, do a little talking through it, but uh, I'm going to get this cardboard to the recycling center. I've got some big boxes over here if I can try to get them out. And then uh, I've got some crap in the garage. I got to run to the recycling center. We'll take the truck, give it a little spin, roll the windows down. And uh, hopefully, I don't have a GoPro or nothing, not yet. I'd really like to get that thing opened up and have a good video of it. So the exhaust is incredible. It's, it's surprising how nice it is. I've had a Mustang with two valve and with a full boil exhaust. And, you know, it sounded fantastic and then you know flow masters all that good jazz but this thing it just sounds so good it's got a clean setup so we'll get that going in a minute well i got the high high beams working which is great low beams are not i have a brand new dimmer switch and a brand new headlight switch so i'm thinking i've got a fuse problem on the low end or electrical this car has obviously some electrical issues and um i'm not sure what people were thinking but some of this stuff is comically bad so these bad boys are going quick alignment look at these toolboxes they're about the same height i'm gonna say that's safe enough for government work and what a look man you know these these old glass headlights they are just classic I really would love if I could get the, the low beams to work and they all four run at once. And I clear coated all of this rust. So get you up in there. Chica, chica. I also clear coated the grill. I think I've told everybody that. Man, I love that rust look in there. It's crazy. Respect the rust. And respect the leaks, because this thing is still pouring. I think I've got the shift shaft seal. Say that three times fast. It's over there somewhere in my parts collection. So we'll get that going. But that's it on that one. Now let's make a little video going to the recycling place. We gotta go pick up my daughter. That might happen in a little while. Give her the beans. Go figure the one time I kick it down, it don't snap like I need it. absolutely smooth. 